it is Pox again. So today in this short video, I want to go ahead and show you guys a unique interaction that was shown to me on stream a couple days ago, uh, which is for the Righteous Fire character. But of course, you could use it for pretty much whatever you want. But I want to go ahead and run you uh, run you down this. So previously, people kept asking me, um, hey, is there any way you can play this character non-low life? And to be honest, I was kind of stubborn. And I'm just like, why would you play a guardian if you're not trying to play low life? Because it doesn't really make sense. Because, you know, the more life you reserve, the more armor you get with, uh, with Radiant Faith. And the more mana you reserve, the more ES you get with Radiant Faith. But of course, this is not too impactful unless you're playing like a mana guardian or scaling mana with inspiration and whatnot. And anyway, that's beside the point. Today, I'm here to tell you guys that there is technically a way that you can play Righteous Fire as like a hybrid character, but still be primarily ES based. Now, before I get into this, I do want to state that I have not theorycrafted any build video for it. I just kind of put a few uniques together and I can show you guys kind of what you can use to make this work. So step one is going to be remove shabs. So by removing my shabs, uh, I lose my entire purity of fire. So I'm now at 75 fire resist. With 75 fire resist and uh, no rise of the phoenix, I will degenerate. As you can see here, I am losing ES. So I'm now going to turn off vitality as well on top of this. So you can see my ES goes down quite fast um, at 75 fire res with nothing on. So by putting on my shabs, it's important to show you guys this, you can see that my ES still goes down by quite a bit. However, uh, if I swap to a beast for Shaol, you can see that my ES goes down significantly slower. And the reason why is Beast for Shaol has the text on it, 36% increased energy shield recovery rate. Now, I did not know this, and I'm sure a bunch of people didn't know it either. And for the people who did know it, fucking congratulations, you're awesome. Um, there is a very unique interaction between Beast for Shaol because of the way the warding is. So most things that increase energy shield recovery is stated 50 per well increase energy shield recharge rate. This is recovery rate. Recovery is the same thing as the trickster node. So even though this doesn't actually show it increasing my energy shield recharge, like my regeneration, and it shows it increase the recharge, it's both. It works for both. So even though if you look at it, look at the regen, it stays the same. It just goes up slightly because of the ES modifier. So you can technically run a Righteous Fire character with a Beast for a Shaol, even though you take increased damage, the regeneration essentially will counteract it, which is pretty cool. So it's a it's a chess piece that gives you AOE, more AO, or, uh, sorry, more ES than Shads, and you could do something pretty cool. Um, it's kind of like one of those hidden modifier things. It's just kind of like the way it works, although it is actually stated there directly. But anyway, time to move into the next part. Esh's Mirror is a shield that you can get off of the Breach Lord, Esh, that you can find by, you know, doing 100 splinters and go running it. You can also find a Blessing of Esh. If you use a Blessing of Esh on an Esh's Mirror, it turns into an Esh's Visage, which states, Chaos damage does not bypass energy shield while not on low life or low mana. So you could use this shield, right, instead of whatever shield you're using normally, and even with the degeneration, you can still get it running. Again, I know I have a Shav's Revelation on right now, but I don't have Purity of Fire and I don't have Vitality and I could obviously spec more towards regeneration because I'm as a Magic Finder right now. Um, so this is kind of something pretty interesting you can do. And again, the Beast for Shal has decent ES. Ash's Visage doesn't give anything too crazy, but it does give a little bit of ES along with uh, Chaos Res, Lightning Res, and it specifically says that re uh, reflect shocks applied to you. Uh, wait, reflects shocks applied to you to all nearby allies or oh, enemies. Sorry. So basically, if you want to shock yourself, you shock other targets. I wouldn't recommend that because if you're shocked as RF, you're doing it wrong. So anyway, uh, this is kind of just a pretty interesting interaction to do. Also, if anyone is curious, it's pretty easy to hit 100 all res. All you need to do uh, with this build is. You just pop in a Saffle's frame. You don't even need a legacy. Um, is it nearby allies or enemies? I thought it was allies, it's enemies. I was pretty sure it was allies, but that kind of ruined the video. But yeah, anyway, if you just hit all your flasks. Actually, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I don't have my purities on, that's why. Just kidding, let me try that again. All right, so with all my purities on as well, I showed this in my other video. 
you can hit 100 plus all resist while you're mapping and you can keep it on pretty much permanently. Did I miss the defense tab? There you go. So that's pretty cool as well. Just something to run down as like build templates for other players. But anyway, I'm out. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.